Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Foyana in case you didn't know and welcome to the Foy Hive. I hope that you guys are all doing well and being sure to take care of yourself. Um, we are officially, officially in lockdown in South Africa because of COVID-19, that pesky little bitch known as coronavirus. She's taken over and we are just trying our best to stay safe and to stay sane. So I thought let me do a bit of my part, something to distract myself but also to get ahead of the backlog of my videos that I have and that is to do my updated eyebrow routine um, I was gonna start out with my grooming routine that's why I don't have any makeup on right now because I usually do my make my brows when I have completed my makeup so I'm gonna do the full grooming and brow routine so if you want to see that and learn a bit more of the products that I use then just keep watching and before you go anywhere please make sure to hit that subscribe button Push the bell if you want a notification of when I will upload next. So let's get into this video. Okay, this is pretty much about as close as I can get it. Um, so basically this is the brass, current brow situation that I have going on. I haven't done my brows since before I left for Joburg, which is around the 5th, the 4th of March. That's when I last did my brows. I groom my brows myself because trust issues. So that's when last I did my brows. So they have they're still relatively in shape but they just aren't as clean as I like them and having a clean and defined and shaped brow makes drawing your brows so much easier, so much faster. So the things that you will need in order to do your brows are as follows. You'll need a pair of scissors, you will need a spoolie and you will need a razor blade. So I also um, used to do my brows with when I when I couldn't get my hands on like raw blades because I got these from my mom she gets them from Ramberg or Nigeria or wherever that you can find like proper tiger blades I also use this kind of like eyebrow groomer blade and this is what you've probably seen in my previous eyebrow videos and grooming routines because I do have an old one from about like 2016 2017 and then I also have an IG video from the beginning of last year so those are the tools that I did use but this this is how I was trained at makeup school in Nigeria they told us to do this on clients and when I started I used to do this on clients but then it started scaring people and it was also too much work so I stopped grooming clients brows anyways so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just brush up all of my hair now doing this helps because um, this is basically where you'll trim into shape what you want your brows to look like so I start at the edge and I get all the flyaways and I just snip them off and then I also brush them down and then I do the same thing to try and mimic the shape that they had when they were up because this thins out your brow hair a lot um, which makes them look much neater albeit a bit thinner but at least like more manageable to to like draw Okay, so by now this is pretty standard for me because I don't do much else to them. I already know like the angles of my brows, where I want them to start, where I want my arch to be. So I don't have to do that kind of geometry. But first and foremost, before you do anything with your brows or try and mimic anyone's brow routine, you have to know what shape suits your face. So next up, I'm going to take the blade. And I'm just going to take the white like protective paper that it comes in. And I'm just going to place it in the middle and fold it so that I have something to hold on to. So now that I've brushed my, my brows up again, I'm gonna start at the top. And what we do with the blade is basically just to trim all of the excess hair around the shape just to make sure it's super, super, super clean. So notice that I'm literally going like perpen like parallel to the skin. I'm not going like perpendicular or I'm not like trying to stab myself. I'm literally just like, I'm dermaplaning effectively. I'm just shaving my face very, very, very gently, very slowly, we just shave. Okay, and once we are happy with how it looks from above, 
we're gonna go from below. Below is actually the most important part of your brows because doing this and like shaving some hair from there actually opens up your eye and gives you the illusion of more lid space and a bigger eye. So when you have more hair below, like it definitely makes your lid look smaller. But even when you just shave a little bit from here, it like naturally highlights your brow because it's the, it's the skin that's been covered by the hair. So it's a little bit lighter than the rest of your skin. But then it also definitely gives your face like a little bit of a lift, especially when you do it from the outer edge. A big trend right now is shaving off like the tail of your eyebrow and going for a straighter brow, which gives you even even more lid space um, I was thinking about it but I don't think I'm there yet maybe when I'm bored during these 21 days I'll do it but like for now this is just my regular schmegular brow routine it's a bit tricky to show but like basically this is the tail and like from right underneath the tail all of that excess hair and we just we just shave it down and now it's so much cleaner already Okay, so this is pretty much the grooming portion done. This is what my groomed eyebrow looks like next to my other one. The hair is definitely much longer, thicker, all over the place. It's filling in the gaps. Um, and I try to just make sure that they look similar, if not the same, because I like my eyebrows to be twins, not sisters. So let me quickly do my other eyebrow and then do my face makeup and then I'll be right back to finish off my brow routine. Okay, so now that we've basically done our face makeup, it's now to continue on to the brows and this is basically what I do. I've been using this Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator for some time now and I've been using it in lieu of my Urban Decay Brow Blade which I've been using in lieu of my Benefit um, Precisely My Brow. In my opinion, all of these products are basically similar, same, on the same level basically substitutes for each other especially depending on your budget if you can afford to splurge i would definitely say precisely my brow and um open decay brow blade the brow blade has um a felt tip end which is really nice to do some strokes especially if you need some depth in the outer tip of your brow um otherwise the precisely my brow is perfectly perfectly fine um but this one is a great 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 budget substitution it's not the cheapest in the world i think it's still like 180 but it's definitely something that's available in basically all pharmacies for sheeny revlon wherever you can find revlon you can find this pencil and this pencil is great and what all of these pencils have in common is that they have a really really small fine tip so what this allows you to do is to create really nice fine brush stroke hairs and also just to not have such a heavy hand when you're using a bra product right i used to be super super obsessed with bra pomades but especially because i was using international products i decided to give it up and go back to the pencil get a less blocky defined look and just to go back to like more hair like appearances i can't do a fluffy brow i don't have the range i don't have the brow and it just it doesn't look great on my face because like i have a lot of creases there by my brow so they all just kind of fade like not creases but like my muscles and stuff move especially by like my arches so it doesn't work out well with the soap brow and that's fine not every beauty trend is for you you got to learn what is for you so what i do is i take this and i start at the bottom not in the very very front but like maybe like a centimeter or so in and then I literally underline my brow just so that I can get the shape in. Oh, by the way, I'm using the color dark brown. I originally was using the darkest shade, which was like a black brown, but I actually want like a lighter brow. So I've been using dark brown and I think this color also works really well, even on dark skin tones. And then we just start filling in, not with a heavy hand, hence why I'm also holding this so far away i'm holding it by the tip and i start with my tip first because the tip is what needs the most pigment in my case particularly because mine thins out and it ends so quickly i need the most color payoff in that area and then for the rest i just like lightly fill in when it gets to the arch i draw a little bit just to define it because i like that rounded arch we've got that arch Sometimes I draw a little bit higher just to give it some shape. And then we fill, we fill, we fill. 
And then when it comes to the front, we literally just fill a little bit. Then this has a spoolie end, which is really great. We brush through the product just to make sure it's evenly distributed and it's not too clumpy. And then we see where there are gaps and then we go back and fill them in. And then what is also really great about this tool, it has this kind of like, um, basically pomade powder type effect to it as well. But if you need a little bit more depth, if you have like sparse areas, you can just fill that in as well. I only use that for like the arch and the tip because that's where it gets the most sparse for me. And then I still brush that through so it doesn't look super, super dark and heavy. Then for my next two products, I take my MAC concealer palette and also the Revlon Colorstay foundation stick in my skin tone, right? And then I take the concealer and I mix the two lightest colors, um, which is I think, what, NC45 and NW45. And I just mix them together a little bit so that I have a nice highlight shade. I always start in my arch and then move down. have that clean with a bit of a highlight underneath the brow bone nothing too drastic nothing too hectic but the aim is to blend it in everywhere so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb but do you see immediately the difference between the lift the arch and that highlight guys and then I take my foundation shade because I personally still conceal or like I still sculpt I don't know I still cover the top because I like my brows to be very well defined but I do it with my skin tone shade so that I don't have a halo brow type of vibe. It's just to clean it up because sometimes I do not draw as precisely and as neatly as this and there is a mess everywhere. So I do it on the top as well just to help clean it up and to keep it looking cute. Then I also just take the brush and just touch up wherever I've gone ham with concealer and we brush through. And this is basically the brow um i did them one at a time so that you can see the difference in all the stages of what my brows look like um sometimes i also just brush through a little bit or i take excess on the powder brush and i just make sure to brush through the beginning a little bit so that it doesn't look too powder heavy um but that is pretty much my brow routine for all intents and purposes this is how i do my brows Okay, so this is the final look. We kind of went a, full, a bit full glam here. I hope you enjoyed this brow tutorial and grooming routine. I hope you learned something. I hope we can take care of ourselves and our aesthetics during lockdown. I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys stay indoors, stay inside. Um, but beyond that, I'll check you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this look. It is likely to be up on Instagram and TikTok already. Follow me on TikTok, by the way. I'm a TikToker now. I TikTok. So get with the program. Follow me there. I'm Foyan OG on every single platform. And yeah, I will check you guys next time.